Welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I want to show you Stellar Updater, which is a standalone app that allows you to update RetroArch with the click of a button. Now, I understand that RetroArch obviously has a built-in updating mechanism, but Stellar is an alternative to that. I'll show you how to download and install it, and then I'll give you a quick demo of how it works. So the first thing you need to do is go to Stellar's GitHub page, which I've linked in the description. And then once you're here, go to Releases, and then once you're here, go to the latest version, which looks like it was released in 2019. Go down to the Assets section, and then the version I prefer to download is Stellar.7z, or 7z. So download the 7z file, and then extract it. And then once you've extracted the folder, you should see a group of files that look like this. Double click on Stellar.exe, and then you should see this little window. So the first thing you want to do is go to RA folder, and click on this black box, and then you want to select the folder where RetroArch is installed on your computer. And the next section down, make sure BuildBot is selected. And that's all the configuration pretty much done. Now this drop down here where it says RetroArch, if you click it, you can select exactly what you'd like to update. So for me personally, I'd probably do just RetroArch for now, and I'm using the 64-bit version. And before you click an update, just make sure you always click Check First, because the last thing you want to do is waste your time on an update that you already have. So click check, and if there is an update available, it will say download available. Then press OK, and then press update. And now it will just download RetroArch into your RetroArch location. It shouldn't overwrite any of your configuration files, uh, they should be safe. And whilst it's doing its magic, I just want to show you some of the other options that are available. You can download RetroArch and Cores together, or you can choose just Cores to update as well. In all honesty, the built-in updater in RetroArch is totally fine, it's more than adequate, but Stellar is an alternative method of doing it. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching.